you have invited eight of your friends at home you wish to make lemonade for them you have to make nine glasses of lemonade one for you and eight for your friends for that you need to take amount of each of the ingredient nine times the amount that you need to make one glass of lemonade understand for example for one glass of lemonade you need one glass of water 8 to 10 drops of lemon juice 2 teaspoon of sugar and a pinch of salt to make 9 glasses of lemonade you will take each of these 9 times that means 9 glasses of water around 80 drops of lemon juice 18 teaspoons of sugar and 9 pinches of salt what if we wish to make 50 glasses of lemonade take amount of each ingredient 50 times but then measuring the amounts becomes tedious right for example measuring around 450 drops of lemon juice or measuring 100 teaspoons of sugar or measuring 50 pinches of salt is quite boring right for big functions like marriages or birthday parties where hundreds or thousands of people are going to come measuring ingredients like this is impossible but we can measure the things in simple way suppose we have to measure 1000 glasses of water we can take a large bottle and see that how many glasses can fill the bottle completely say the bottle is completely filled by pouring 10 glasses of water in it then measuring 1000 glasses of water is same as measuring 100 bottles of water similarly we can approximately find out how many drops of juice one lemon contains and then take the number of lemons accordingly in this way we can reduce our efforts and time we used bottle or glass to measure water however you may not have the same glass every time you make the lemonade if you tell the recipe to a friend again it may not be proper because your glass and the other glass or your bottle other bottle will be different lemons are also of different sizes how far is the school compound from your classroom you may measure by steps arun who is exceptionally tall reaches the compound in just 90 steps whereas you take 125 steps how is that so we need standard units of measurement to avoid this there are units to measure different types of things these units are the same everywhere in the world we have a ruler marked with centimeters to measure small distance you may also have seen tape to measure the length and breadth of the room it is a meter or a 5 meter length tape we have seen various weights in a shop or in mandai you know milk or petrol is measured in liter these are standard measurements for measuring the same thing we have different units depending upon the quantity when we need to measure in large amount we use larger units and when we need to measure in small amount we use smaller units we need to measure distance time weight capacity amount of money in our day to day life the tables show units for measurement of these quantities and relationship between different units for the same quantity also the abbreviations are written here quantity distance units for measurement kilometer meter centimeter millimeter quantity time units for measurement year month days hours minutes seconds quantity weight units for measurement kilograms grams milligrams quantity capacity units for measurement liters milliliters quantity money units for measurement rupees paise relationship between units 1 km is equal to 1000 m 1 m is equal to 
100 centimeters is equal to 10 millimeters. One day is equal to 24 hours. One hour is equal to 60 minutes. One minute is equal to 60 seconds. One year is equal to 12 months. One kilogram is equal to 1000 grams. One gram is equal to 1000 milligrams. One liter is equal to 1000 milliliter. One rupee is equal to 100 paise. We will see how to perform basic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division using these units of measurements. Let us start with an example. As we can see, other than the time, the convergence from kilometer to meter and meter to centimeter as well as liter to milliliter. We have to multiply or divide by 10, 100, 1000. So, we can use the decimal fractions. You walked for 2 kilometers and 100 meters to reach your friend Nitin's house. Then, you both walked for 700 meters to reach the playground. How much is the total distance you walked? Here, we have to add both the distances. That is, 2 kilometers and 100 meters plus 700 meters is equal to 2 kilometers and 800 meters. Hence, you walked the total distance of 2 kilometers and 800 meters. Another example. While returning, suppose you took a shortcut and reached home by walking a distance of 1 kilometer and 300 meters. How much distance did you walk less? Here, we need to subtract the distance of 1 kilometer and 300 meters from total distance of 2 kilometers and 800 meters. That is, 2 kilometers and 800 meters minus 1 kilometer and 300 meters is equal to 1 kilometer and 500 meters. Hence, you walked 1 kilometer and 500 meters distance less. Consider another example. A shopkeeper sells 5 liter and 750 milliliter of cow milk and 7 liters and 500 milliliter of buffalo milk. How much is the total milk sold by the shopkeeper? Here, we need to add both amounts of milk. 5 liter and 750 milliliter plus 7 liters and 500 milliliters is equal to 1250 milliliters. We know that 1000 milliliter is equal to 1 liter. We add milliliters first. 750 milliliters plus 500 milliliters is equal to 1250 milliliters is equal to 1000 milliliter plus 250 milliliters. That means 1 liter plus 250 milliliters. We take 1 carry to liter addition. We get 5 liters and 750 milliliters plus 7 liters and 500 milliliters is equal to 13 liters and 250 milliliters. So, the answer is 13 liters 250 milliliters. Thus, the total milk sold by the shopkeeper is 13 liters and 250 milliliters. If cow milk costs rupees 48 per liter and buffalo milk costs rupees 56 per liter. What is the total amount of money received by the shopkeeper by selling the milk? First, we will find the cost of cow milk. Amount of cow milk sold is 5 liters and 750 milliliters. Cost of 5 liters cow milk is equal to 5 multiplied by 48 that is rupees 240. Cost of 1 liter cow milk that is 1000 milliliter cow milk is equal to rupees 48. Therefore, cost of 1000 milliliter divided by 2 
is equal to 500 milliliters cow milk will be rupees 48 divided by 2 that is rupees 24 and cost of 1000 milliliter divided by 4 is equal to 250 milliliter cow milk will be rupees 48 divided by 4 that is rupees 12. So, the cost of 750 milliliters cow milk which is 500 milliliters plus 250 milliliters will be rupees 24 plus rupees 12 is equal to rupees 36. Hence, the cost of 5 liter and 750 milliliters cow milk is rupees 240 plus rupees 36 is equal to rupees 276. Now, we will find the cost of buffalo milk. Amount of buffalo milk sold is 7 liters and 500 milliliters. Cost of 7 liters buffalo milk is equal to 7 multiplied by 56 that is rupees 392. Cost of 500 milliliters of buffalo milk will be rupees 56 divided by 2 is equal to rupees 28. Hence, the cost of 7 liters and 500 milliliters of buffalo milk is rupees 392 plus rupees 28 is equal to rupees 420. So, the total amount of money received by the shopkeeper by selling the milk is rupees 276 plus rupees 420 is equal to rupees 696. Let's see another example. A man does exercises one after the other. He walks for 10 minutes, then does cycling for 20 minutes and, and then in the end, he jogs for 15 minutes. He finishes doing exercise at 8.30 am. What time he starts exercising? Total time required to do exercises is 10 minutes of walking plus 20 minutes of cycling plus 15 minutes of jogging is equal to 45 minutes. So, the man starts exercising 45 minutes before 8.30 am. Understand? 30 minutes before 8.30 am is 8 am and 15 minutes before 8 am is 7.45 am. Thus, man starts exercising at 7.45 am. At a party, 4 kilograms of biryani was ordered of which 2 kilograms and 250 grams biryani was consumed. Find the remaining amount of biryani. We need to subtract 2 kilograms and 250 grams from 4 kilograms to get the answer. 4 kilograms and 0 grams minus 2 kilograms and 250 grams. We cannot subtract 250 grams from 0 grams directly, right? 4 kilograms can be written as 3 kilograms plus 1 kilogram that is 3 kilograms and 1000 grams. Now, we can subtract 250 grams from 1000 grams. So, 3 kilograms and 1000 grams minus 2 kilograms and 250 grams is equal to 1 kilogram and 750 grams. Hence, 1 kilograms and 750 grams is the remaining amount of biryani. What did we learn? The table shows units for measurement of these quantities and relationship between different units for same quantity. Quantity, distance, units for measurement, kilometer, meter, centimeter, millimeter. Quantity, time, units for measurement, year, Month, days, hours, minutes, seconds. Quantity, weight. Units for measurement, kilograms, grams, milligrams. Quantity, capacity. Units for measurement, liters, milliliters. Quantity, money. Units for measurement, rupees, 
पैसे रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन यूनिट्स वन किलोमीटर इज इक्वल टू वन थाउजेंड मीटर वन मीटर इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर्स इज इक्वल टू टेन मिलीमीटर्स वन डे इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स वन आवर इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी मिनट्स वन मिनट इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी सेकेंड्स वन ईयर इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व मंथ्स वन किलोग्राम इज इक्वल टू वन थाउजेंड ग्राम्स वन ग्राम इज इक्वल टू वन थाउजेंड मिलीग्राम्स वन लीटर इज इक्वल टू वन थाउजेंड मिली लीटर वन रुपी इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड पैसे एक्सरसाइज हाउ टॉल आर यू मेजर योर हाइट इन इंचेस से फिफ्टी एट इंचेस एक्सेट्रा एंड इन फीट एंड इंचेस ऑल्सो मेजर योर हाइट इन सेंटीमीटर्स यू कैन स्टैंड विद द बैक स्ट्रेट अगेंस्ट अ वॉल एंड मार्क द वॉल यूजिंग अ पेंसिल वेर टॉप ऑफ योर हेड टच इज द वॉल देन मेजर फ्रॉम द फ्लोर टू द मार्किंग यूजिंग मेजरिंग टेप और मार्क ट्रूलर If your measuring tape is too short to measure your full height, measure as high as you can and make a pencil mark on the wall. Note the measurement. Keep measuring until you reach the pencil mark you made for the top of your head. Add the individual measurements together to get your height. You can use following relationship between the units. 1 foot is equal to 12 inches. 1 inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters how much water do you drink daily measure the amount of water you drink in liter and in milliliters you can count the number of glasses you finish daily and find how many glasses can fill a 1 liter bottle to get the answer in liter and in milliliters how much time do you need to have lunch you can note at what time you started having lunch and at what time you finished it then subtract the time you started from the time you finished to get the answer in minutes